Yeah, all right. I'm pretty excited to today uh, talk about Gnosis, Lawn, uh, Gnosis Pay and actually uh, launch it. So I'm, I'm Martin from, from Gnosis. Yeah, and I want to share this project we have been working now uh, over a year on, and uh, today is the day to, to share it uh, with the world. So first, a flashback. So five years at this very conference, uh, Stefan, my co-founder, um, introduced uh, the safe or the Gnosis safe back then. And what happened then uh, over the years that it really changed uh, safe self-custodial storage. Um, yeah, many, well, it, it has become the biggest uh, solution for it and yeah, actually billions and billions uh, worth of assets are now stored in self-custody with people uh, controlling their keys in sometimes sophisticated setups. And now, five years later, we believe uh, we are launching something um, as significant. So now we are here, <laughs> self-custodial uh, payments. And that's what this presentation will be about. So today, uh, we have on the right side our thriving uh, Web3 economy that we all know and love, uh, where you can quickly move assets around the world, um, use DEXs, use uh, all kind of DeFi, have, yeah, you have this wonderful concept of permissionless innovation. Everyone is allowed to uh, build new concepts around existing concepts, and it's thriving. But um, it's still fairly disconnected from the real world economy and our day-to-day -day, uh, lives and transactions. And yeah, the reality is, uh, to really do something, or most of the time to do something in the real world, payments, let's say, you first have to kind of leave this uh, Web3 economy, enter a yeah, often usually centralized exchange in various, sometimes not the greatest settings, and then uh, exit into the old kind of rails. And that's what we want to change. So we want to say, um, and this, this will change, so we want to really have um, yeah, the real world economy, real payments and, and all the things you do daily in your life run on Web3 uh, rails, essentially meaning bringing it on chain. And of course, to get all the benefits that we have there, so this idea of permissionless innovation, self-custody, and again, all the things we know and love. But the question is, how do we do that? And the strategy we came up with is, yeah, we thought kind of how did, how did it happen, and those who are a little bit older might remember that, so Skype, when it was a new thing, it was a big deal that you could dial directly into a landline, and you could buy those credits, um, and this would allow you to then, yeah, again, dial into a landline, and why would you do it? Well, because they did this super nice thing where you always would only pay the uh, the local tariff. So if I would, whatever, call from Germany into the US, then on the old kind of uh, uh, telecom infrastructure, it was actually quite expensive to do so. But with, with Skype, they would say, okay, let's do the, uh, the international part in voice over IP and just kind of the last mile, then at, uh, I can kind of dial into, into the US landline from the US and only pay um, uh, the local tariff. Now, uh, a little bit more than 10 years later, that doesn't, doesn't play uh, any role anymore because everything is happening via voice over IP, essentially. So even, even kind of traditional phones, if still someone is using, it, is using them, then, then um, probably the, the, the uh, transaction or the, yeah, the, the call is happening over voice over IP. And that's exactly how we expect things to play out uh, in the payment world. So with Gnosis Pay, we are introducing extremely efficient yeah, connections, kind of essentially this dial into landline uh, for traditional um, payment infrastructure. And by doing that, we think we provide the path so that eventually we can have uh, what the previous slide was about. We can have this really real world um, transactioning, uh, transactions, real-world stuff um, happening on-chain. So, I want to give you two examples. 
The first one is a SEPA transfer. What we enabled is that you can trigger a SEPA transfer uh, via Gnosis Pay from really any wallet and any chain. So how it looks like is you just select here your um, asset, again, on, on many networks, an asset. And here on the right side, you see I can directly um, select an, an IBAN, um, any, again, any SEPA transfer or any, any, any IBAN. I, I select a name and an amount. Um, and I really trigger, as you can see on the left side, I really trigger this, uh, the SEPA transfer right from my wallet, including um, my, my safe. And again, this, this will then immediately uh, result in, 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 in this uh, SEPA transfer. But going a step further, we can also do uh, the other direction. So what we will do, or what we are doing with Gnosis Pay is that every um, yeah, blockchain account address it will be safe uh, gets an individual IBAN assigned. So it's literally turning the safe into a yeah, on-chain bank account that can receive uh, payments not only from you, but kind of from wherever you want to receive payments, you can receive that on your IBAN, and that will result in um, stable coins in your directly minted in, in your safe. And here is an example. I did this transaction um, yesterday night. So I, on the left side, you can see my Revolut, but this could be any other banking interface, any banking interface that, that uh, supports SEPA. Uh, I did a 100 euro. Uh, transaction um, to this, yeah, SEPA account connected to my safe, press the transaction, and less than two minutes later, on the right side, you can see the Block Explorer. Um, so uh, you see the mint, so from zero, uh, from zero address to my address, so stable coins and exactly 100 euros, so no fees, no kind of really one-to-one, -one. you get what you pay or you, you, you get what you see, uh, were minted into this account. So this is uh, the first example of, of how we are, what, what we are doing with um, Gnosis Pay. But we are going a step further. So let's look at the architecture. So Gnosis Pay will be, or is in layer two. Um, we check different technologies and end up uh, with what we believe is, is the strongest, the uh, um, yeah, ZK, what, what the Polygon guys uh, Built with the, the KVM, um, and yeah, it, it's on top of Gnosis Chain, and it will have all those yeah seamless connections into the traditional payment rails. And I gave the SEPA uh, example. I will give the Visa example um, in a minute. But but essentially every payment scheme that is out there, um, we are trying to support in that very very native. Um, native way. Funds enter through Gnosis Chain, but thanks to liquidity bridges and, and bridge aggregators, you can really kind of very seamlessly enter from, uh, from any network you want. Uh, we are, to make everything very smooth, we are heavily using safe and uh, account abstraction. So under the hood, there will be those safes, but those safes will feel quite different from, from a safe you might be used in a team setting where you have multiple owners. So here it's really your wallet that controls the safe and, and you essentially just sign messages and everything else will happen uh, very smooth with gas abstraction and yeah, sophisticated rights management. And it, it, it's, it will be mostly hidden from the user, the fact that there are safes. So diving um, a little bit more into, into individual uh, capabilities. So yeah, the, the uh, the transaction costs need to be really, really low, so we are targeting sub uh, 0.1 cent per transaction because, yeah, as you can imagine, um, they, yeah, they need to be low. Um, I'm, yeah, I, I think uh, skipping most of those, but accounts abstraction, um, yeah, not kind of more sophisticated KYC, so there will be the need for KYC, but you shouldn't do it all over again, so you should own your data, you should be able to share them then. But let's make it interesting. Let's uh, give you a demo and present the second thing, actually the Gnosis card that will be available from essentially um, today. 
So if you want to get access to this card, and I'm uh, getting, yeah. Marcos, Marcos, are you coming on stage? Yeah. So, um, so first here, in the meantime, you can mint this pop. If you mint this pop, then you, will, you can skip the waitlist and, and essentially get it directly. And we are trying something here that everyone advised against, a live demo on stage. So, um, so let's, let's try that in production. So please, in the audience, someone give me a number between 1 euro and 10 euros. OK, let's make it a 9, more specific, 9.06, 9 9 yeah? OK, 9.63, OK. So 9.63, production terminal. Yeah, so this is actually a, a terminal we are using in, in full node in Berlin, uh, and I, I brought it with us. So you have it? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's working. <laughs> Wait a second. Set up card reader. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Connecting card terminal. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it is uh, currently the phone can't connect to the terminal, which is completely outside of uh, completely outside of. Um, Probably is too many too many Bluetooth devices uh, <laughs> in this room right now. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! Okay, now it should work. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So let's see. So wait. Yeah. So here's well, my my Nosis Pay card. Let's see. I tap it. Okay. And. Yes, so this is perfectly approved. But wait, I mean, never, never believe something you don't see on chain. So let's, let's, try, to, um, let's try to find the transaction uh, on chain. Um, OK, so. Uh, wait, yeah. OK, so what was the amount? 963. So yeah. Cool. So what happened is, yeah, just uh, the proof that um, the transaction is actually happening on chain. Um, so you are fully in control of your assets until the very moment they are in your safe, until the very moment you tap the card. So the card is available right now um, for purchase. Uh, yeah, it costs 30, 30 euros. Um, yeah, again, this trans uh, transparent pricing, you pay exactly what you see. We have very nice perks. You can personalize it. You can actually use your ENS name um, on the card. So we really kind of try to make what, what's the ideal card uh, for, for crypto users. So you will be able to use it with any wallet, again, because the wallet will control your safe and the card has access um, to the safe. And even going a step further, um, what we will enable is we, yeah, we, we set up this infrastructure that enables every community or every uh, wallet to issue their own cards. So every wallet can have their own self uh, or branded card with, with their identity. And again, because the wallet controls the keys, controls the access to the safe, the card had, has access um, to the safe, we are really trying to enable, to allow everyone essentially to build around the payment as uh, a use case um, of of payments. So we have seen the, the previous presentations like Lens or um, before that uh, Git uh, or kind of quadratic, quadratic funding. And basically what we are saying is imagine you could tap into the process of payment. I imagine every time uh, you do a payment, you can connect it to a Lens interaction, to a quadratic funding, to a DeFi interaction. You can kind of say, 
if I do a payment, I take out a loan out of um, Spark or Aave or whatever, or I do a swap right before. So essentially, we are enabling composability of, of the payment process uh, with Web3. Last point, that's where we are available right now. Uh, in, in the EU, that's where you can buy the card. If you have the card, you can use it globally. Um, the other regions, or the, the region, I mean, eventually, of course, we want to be everywhere, but that's, that's what's realistically coming uh, next after, after the, the EU. And last but not least, big, big shout out um, to all the partners. So to actually make that happen end to end, a lot of projects, a lot of things are, are uh, necessary from, yeah, on the top you see kind of the, the, the partners that kind of provides this gateways in this traditional um, world, but then we have a lot of uh, technology, yeah, that really aims to then um, bring this very, very, very smooth um, experience. So, thank you.